Shake that shell. All right, my next guest is a comedian. Oh, man. My next guest is a comedian and actress, and who's appeared on The Larry Sanders Show and in the movies Road Trip and Legally Blonde 2. Now she co-stars on the smash hit show 24. Please welcome Mary Lynn Rice Cub. <laughs> Very nice. I love your dress. Thanks a lot. I dressed up and came to New York. Yeah, that, it was very nice of you to do that on our Thanks. behalf. Yeah, you know, I, I want to first of all, this has got to have changed your life. You look for, frightened of me right now. Many people have that response to me, by the way. It's the hair, isn't it? Well, I would, I didn't want to say it, but a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of the hair. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> Please. I could do that at any time. You never know when it's coming. But anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> No, this has got to have changed your life, because you... <laughs> I'm going to try This is how women looked at me all through high school, by the way. I'm not going to look at the hair. Okay, don't. Don't let it distract you at all. I can't stop looking at Please, you. look at me. Look at me. I don't um, want to, but I have to. You have to. It's hypnotic. And has an odor. People don't know that. Uh, it's a minty smell. It's, it's pleasant. I was going to say flowers. Yeah, it's pretty... <laughs> Enough nonsense. Uh, no, I, I want to ask you about this because the show 24 uh, has... A lot of television shows have fans, but this show has a sort of devoted fan base that's, that's gone to another level, almost. Yeah, people are a little obsessed with it. Yeah, and there are, there are websites and websites about the websites and fan sites and everyone talking about it. Are you ever tempted to go on and, and sort of read what these people are saying? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've read them, you know. There's a lot of stuff about me, how hot I am, and <laughs> I, want, I want to marry her. Yeah. She's so awesome. But then, you know, I got down to, like, number seven, and it says she has a face like a potato. So um, <laughs> I kind of stopped reading after that. Yeah, you do not have a face like a potato. Thank but, you very much. But it's a, it's am a... I melting you with my beauty? Yes, you are, Thank actually. You. My eyes are... Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. Um, but no, I... Uh... I would. I don't think it's good to look at at those uh, sites. I, can't I don't look, think so either. I'm I can't look at it. those. I mean, I, there's always a lot. He's hot, and I want to marry him. But then it's always Potato Head is about yeah. number six for me. Let's not look at him. We'll never do it again. Okay. Now, how do people respond when they? Because let's say you, you meet a really devoted fan out in the world, in person. How do they respond to you? Are you getting recognized a lot. You must be. Yeah, I got a lady um, touched me at Starbucks the other day. Me too, yeah. So, um, it was nice, though. I mean, I needed a hug. Uh -huh. um, but <laughs> the worst, best time it happened was I went scuba diving for the first time, mm -hmm. and I thought it was going to be easy breezy because I'm a good swimmer and mm -hmm. everything. But the night before, I was uh, laying in bed and realizing that it's really unnatural to breathe underwater. But I wanted to go through with it anyway, so right. I went and sat on the boat, and I was just minding my own business, you know, turning green, sitting there. And this woman came up to me and said, oh, you're Chloe from 24. I'm like, yeah. Well, you're not like your character at all. And um, I guess she went and told the instructor that I was nervous. And so the instructor came up to me and kneeled down and spoke very softly and said, here's all you have to do. Just pretend that Jack Bauer is at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> he needs your help tracking a satellite. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helping. It didn't help. I would lose faith in him, too, like that he's lost, you know, that he's the lost trust. or yeah. Jack Bauer? Yeah, no, no, not Jack Bauer. <laughs> no, 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 God forbid. <laughs> well, I mean, Fox, that um, is, um, the shows make believe, and I'm a real person with real fears. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> that was not the way for that person to handle it. No. Now, you... It could be misconstrued that maybe you're kind of an uptight person sometimes, occasionally. Um, oh, really? You think so? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do you relax? Say, uh, you're, you're not taping a show, you're, you're, you're done, you got a little bit of a break. What do you do to just relax? How does... I spend a lot of time alone crying. Um, <laughs> but... You and I have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> but then, um, after I was done crying, I actually started meditating, and I was really... Did you try meditating, really? Yeah, I was in earnest trying to do that. Um, so... You know, when you do that, you spend a lot of time alone, no distractions. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave the house for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but when I finally did, I went back to, like, my coffee spot, you know, mm -hmm. and the guy was like, I haven't seen you in a while. And he said, uh, you look different. Like, you look lighter and brighter. And I was like, wow, this meditation stuff really works, you mm -hmm. know. So I said, well, actually, I've been meditating, and 
in doing that, I, I realized that there's an invisible string of love that connects us all mm -hmm. and that we're all one being. And if you think about it, it is kind of love that, you know, is in charge here, at least a positive creative force that's moving forward. And he interrupted me and said, did you get highlights in your hair? <laughs> and I went, oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't know why I said that other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Thank you. And then we There's went no on a date. No, you went out. You're dating now. That's yeah. nice. There's no invisible string of love. It's the highlights. Yeah. yeah. Now you, like a lot of people, you struggled before you you had this level of success. You were a waitress for a while. Is that right? Yeah, I waited tables at the Hard Rock Cafe. At the Hard Rock Cafe. I thought it was gonna be fun. When I was little, there they like dance on the tables and stuff. It's not fun there. <laughs> well, it's not fun if you're the person doing it, probably. Yeah. Is it fun for other people? I don't think so either, no. I, <laughs> I think it's fun, officially fun for no one. They make you wear a, um, like a nurse's uniform, but you have to hem it into a mini skirt, so mm -hmm. you have to be a sexy nurse, like weird fantasy, even though right. you're just trying to do a job. And uh, they make you wear guitar pins and like sell merchandise at the table. And you have to like describe the food in a cutesy way and... Um, like what kind of cutesy way? What do you have to? How do you describe the food? Well, like, okay, you have to say, "Would you like to try our rock and roll chili?" Let me tell you what's in it. It's got beef, pork, spices, and a little bit of rock and roll put right in the chili. <laughs> Mary, were, Mary, were you by any chance saying it like that? Well, yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Okay. Um, I went up to wait tables, and it's hard enough to have to be forced to describe that. But right. then this guy was sitting there, and it was John Corbett from Sex and the City. But yeah. I know him also as the hunky DJ from Northern Exposure, right? Right, right. And, you know, he's with his girlfriend, a lovely girl. She was kind of like a skeleton, though, like stacked up in the booth. Like, right. I thought I was worried she needed to eat. And right. I, wa <laughs> I wanted to impress him. And I have a lot on my mind, and I'm just trying to go. And then I right. know I got to say this about the chili, and I don't know where they get the rock and roll from. I don't know how it gets in there. And <laughs> a lot walking up to the table. So I said, you know, hi, I'm Mary Lynn, and I'll be waiting on you t today. Would you like to try the chili? And he looked at me and said, are you retarded? <laughs> and I don't think I am. No, you're not. I don't think so. You're not, But couldn't no. I wait tables even if I was? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Because I was like frowning from so deeply inside yeah. and then putting the smile. Yeah. On. It's so... It was very good of him to ask, you know? Uh, yeah, I guess. Wow. Uh, man. You gotta come back. I have a, I just wanna keep talking to you for hours and hours. Will you come back. back soon? Yeah, I like your style. <laughs> All right, then, uh, 24. I'm gonna get the word out on 24 right now, because no one knows until I tell, tell them. People about it. Yeah, 24 airs Mondays at 9 on Fox, and uh, Firewall is in uh, theaters right now, and you oh, did yeah. that movie with Harrison Ford. Yeah. Yeah, was it cool working with him? That was pretty good. Yeah. He has his own ride at Disneyland. Yeah, he has his own ride at Disneyland? Yeah, it's the Indiana Jones ride. Oh, I thought you just rode around on a Harrison Ford. <laughs> Be kind of cool. Yeah. Oddly homoerotic. All right. Uh, can't, I, I really, I loved talking to you. Thanks a lot for being here. It was Thank hilarious. You. Uh, Mary Lynn Rice Cup, everybody. We'll be right back to the Dropkick Murphy. Stick around.